So now that we've got some of the basics of voice attack, let's look at the Cedar profile to see how I've applied some of those techniques. So we'll get loaded up. As we see, we have this first command that starts up each time the profile runs. So it's the uh, VA system profile startup. And I've got it tagged with audible uh, so that I know it's got some type of voice option. I did that just for my own sake as I was doing multiple audible commands or audible response modes. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And this actually, as we run it, uh, it does a couple of things. It first of all, retrieves all the persistent parameters. Uh, so anything that we say between profiles over, you know, when voice attack gets closed or whatever, it pulls those back in. Uh, we also initialize all the system parameters. So all the ship default states, like comstab, gsafe, those all get set to a default value by star citizen. And uh, we want to make sure that those match to begin with. Then we also compare the time. So ignoring this part, uh, if it's, you know, depending on the time of day, it gives you a different introduction. So if it's before 3 a.m., it says good evening. Between 3 a.m. and 11 a.m., it'll say good morning. And then 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., it'll say good afternoon. Everything else, it'll just say good evening. So uh, back to the 3 a.m. Similar over here uh, for different response modes. And then we actually look at and say if the introduction complete flag has not been set or if it's set to false, um, then we do the introduction starting. So uh, the first time you load up the Cedar profile, it should give you through an introduction. You can complete that all the way uh, or if you're part of the way through, it'll go back through and ask you to continue. So. We run that. Um, now we'll look at the shields and talk through that. So this looks very similar to the one we just wrote. Um, we have all the different shield power and percentage. Now we actually have some optional phrases here. So we have one or two extra uh, trim options. But uh, it does almost the same. It's the loop uh, within each condition. And then we also have, we clear the input command and clear the loop values. Um, with Star Citizen, you can also see the HUD interact as you're making these commands. If that's enabled, right, that's what this last part does, is it pauses for about a second and a half after it's done, and then switches back to your default display HUD. Uh, this is kind of the start of it. Now, you'll notice that instead of doing the direct key bind, we execute a separate command uh, called shield power forward uh, and we'll take a look at that. I do this because the key bindings can change pretty regularly and with 200 something commands it's a lot harder to go through and change it on each of these individual commands that might reference you know when you want to increase shield power. So instead I built this key bind interface that each of these options um, is a different key bind that I can reference in multiple commands. So. We see uh, shield forward, right? And all this does is press the key that we want, but creating it as its own command that we can execute otherwise uh, just helps a little bit for um, keybind management.